For example, their role play. Their role play is building their confidence, they're acting out different parts in their, you know, in real life. Um, they're being very creative and they're using their communication skills when they're being these different individuals, whether you're a chef or you're an explorer or you decide you're going to be a princess in the safari. We also have an augmented reality sandbox. And that sandbox is actually giving that their hands and their sensory with their hands is building their cognitive skills. They're actually elevating their creativity and the ability to concentrate in, in a low sensory environment. This sandbox is calibrated so that it is sensing the height and the depth of the things that the children are making. And that is a wonderful experience for children because they get to then see a result to what they've built. This setting is on the volcanoes. And you can see over in this volcano here, this one's actually erupting because it was built high enough and a hole was created at the top. So once that hole is created at the top and you've, you've built it high enough, you can see that the lava is now the result of that child's play. The more water that we add to the sandbox, the more work the child has to do with their arms. And they don't even realize the, ex the, ex the exercise that their arms are getting as they're playing. Our ocean mode is going to um, really teach the children a little bit more about sea life. And once we go to the sea life mode, you can see that they're going to have to use their eyes. They're going to be looking at various sea creatures that are going to join them in their sand play. So this is also another wonderful play on the child's imagination um, as they're working in an ocean environment. And well, both my kids love sand a lot. And you know, it's fun for them, like the textures, um, and then to make connections with that. Yeah, so no, they, they loved it, um, and it also like opens up creativity. They made volcanoes, and then you know the light shines down where you can see the lava pouring over. And my son just thought it was so cool that they could see the volcano exploding. And then we put it on the sea setting, and my daughter thought, there's the fish, there's the turtles. They could just keep waiting for the next thing to appear. And they could build, and they could shape, and um, I mean, there's nothing like it. We did, we played with the volcano and the ice sandbox. Um, then we were able to switch it um, to the ice age and the ocean with the sea creatures. So that was really neat. My little boy Arya, um, he enjoyed it and he doesn't like to get his hands dirty, but he was really interacting and playing and really curious how it works. So he enjoyed it a lot, which I'm happy. Well, it's an incredible new uh, educational feature that brings kind of a classroom feel to EQ Kids Club. They get uh, more information about things that they wouldn't normally in a setting that feels like play to them. So it, they absorb it a lot faster. And um, Madison kept asking, you know, why her, her volcano is not working and then to actually feel what it what it feels like to build the volcano to build it higher and to see the the color changes as you build it i think it really registered a lot more than if i were to explain it in a book per se or if she if she watched it on, on tv we've created not only an environment for parents and children to to learn about each other and to leave eq kids having learned a little something different using new techniques or parenting tools like our books our music that we create um, the educational toys and um, that they actually leave EQ kids having um, a better parenting experience, remembering how fun it is, remembering you know what they're passionate about and do their children know what they're passionate about because that's what we all should remember no matter what job we do or how old we get but it's about what we're passionate about. So I, I just love this place. Thank you. Come to EQ Kids Club. Well, we're going to have his birthday party here, so we're very excited um, because, like I said, it's his favorite place to come and the fact that um, birthdays are so special and I know that they would make it a special experience for him as well as for us, too. We love it here. We bring friends here all the time. Um, in fact, every time I, I walk in here, Marsha cracks up, I think, because I have a new group of friends that I'm introducing to this play. If I could bring everybody to EQ Kids Club, I would.